Okay, in this video we're going to take a look at our spreadsheet tab in MAP software and also uh, the templates that you can save for that by creating special calculations and then, and then saving them and so that you can use them in future profiles. And so if we hop into the MAP software here, I can show you what I'm talking about. And we'll click on the spreadsheet tab in the bottom left. And what this is is basically an aggregate of all of our uh, profiles that have been downloaded to this basic profiling environment. And so it's going to um, keep them here. When you download a new one, it will add it to the top of this list. And towards the bottom here, I can show you that um, basically it will um, it will average and, and display uh, the information here for the total of your profiles that are, have been downloaded to this environment. And so just for example, um, on the bottom here, this N means the number of profiles that you have in the environment. You can see that's uh, we've got five profiles downloaded to this environment. And it's also going to have your minimum value for each column of data. Uh, the minimum value, value out of, in this case, out of these five um, profiles that we downloaded. It'll have the maximum value for each column, as well as the average. And then it's going to display your, your standard deviation. And then the value uh, displayed here is for uh, at plus three standard deviations or at minus three standard deviations to compare there. And so, this yellow bar across the uh, the bottom of the page here shows your profile that's highlighted, and so that's meant for if uh, your list exceeds the window of this whole page. Uh, say, for example, if you have 200 profiles downloaded to this environment, you can click one that's at the top of the list, and then scroll down to the bottom of the spreadsheet to see uh, to compare its values with the average of your data. And so there's some pretty handy things that you can do with the spreadsheet besides just reviewing this information. Uh, we can add information to the spreadsheet if you'd like to have something more than, um, you know, if you need a measurement aside from these regular reflow uh, measurements, uh, what we can do is right click on an empty column and we'll add content and it will let you add a wide variety of information to this spreadsheet so you can do anything from temperature and time values to you know uh, your percentage of your process uh, slope values uh, temperature delta values and um, integral values as well as uh, our special palettes our wave writer and our oven writer have special values um, specific to those palette products that we can enter in here. And then, of course, there's um, special values as well, which are a wide range of, of items that we can take a look at. And so um, I'll add one in here just as an example. Under our special values, if we go to our data run at the top, we can select the number of data points in our data run, which is the, the total of the data points collected. And if these are in, uh, if this was a one second logging rate, uh, for example, these are about six or seven minute profiles. And so you can see that the total number of data points that you uh, collected on that profile. And We'll add another one here just as an additional example. If we right click and add content, uh, let's go to special values again and say we want to keep an eye on something with regard to our process. And so um, we want to know the uh, liquidus temperature of the paste that was used in, in that profile. We can select finish. And we can see that four of our profiles have a liquidus temp of 183, with the latest one uh, having a liquidus temp of 217. And so if that's something that's important, uh, that you want to keep an eye on for, for the entirety of your spreadsheet, 
uh, what you'll want to do once you enter these um, these custom columns is we can right click anywhere in the uh, spreadsheet area here and we're going to save spreadsheet template and so what that will do is it will take this template uh, string here this saved file our spreadsheet basic template file and it will update it in so that it always includes our number of data points as well as our liquidus temperature for uh, for the solder paste that we're using and one last thing here to conclude our uh, spreadsheet template uh, tutorial today is the user columns which are really handy and uh, we may have touched on this in another video as well but it's important to know that you can display your user columns on the profile graph and so if you want to keep track of something um, that's just um, custom or specific to your process we can enter say we want to enter the line number which line we were operating on and we want to have the operator their name displayed on that and so we could say that this is line 2 and operator we'll just say that it's Carson if I was to be operating that line and if we click over on our profile tab on the bottom we can right click on our profile and select show on profile and enter our spreadsheet user columns and so that they display on the graph and we'll apply that and OK and so you can see here line 2 and Carson as the operator um, will display on your graph and so that that will print out with it as well and so clicking back to the spreadsheet tab here uh, we've gone over entering custom columns and uh, saving our spreadsheet template as well as uh, entering the custom user data for those fields there that show up in the green